So today guys, we have details on the next DLC for Borderlands and it looks pretty amazing. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. Okay, so if you didn't catch the latest Gearbox and 2K stream, I have you covered. We have many details on events to come and much, much more. So let's check it out okay so on march 26th we are getting the second dlc campaign add-on this they state will be a surprisingly dangerous engagement party the dlc is called guns love and tentacles the marriage of wainwright and hammerlock now looking at this image on screen now with hammerlock and wainwright we can see this sort of like heart shape with these tentacles and so forth now you guys may remember me speculating quite a while back with the Broken Hearts Day event with a few of the items we saw including the logo showing a heart with tentacles but well, the clues have been there since the start people. Sneaky sneaky gearbox. So Sir Alistair Hammerlock and Wainwright Jacobs are finally tying the knot and they want us to celebrate with them on a new planet and destination to the game. A planet which is called Xylargus, I think that says, or Xylargus, I'm not exactly certain, that's a hard word to say for me, newbie Englishman. Now this planet is described as a frozen plain in which its wastes have thinned out all but the vicious wildlife and the eerie town of Curse Haven, where we all agreed to meet for the celebration of Hammerlock and Wayne Wright. This is a place located beneath the colossal carcass of a fallen vault monster. And guys, if the ice swirls, biting cold and vicious wildlife weren't unwelcoming enough, a band of creepy oculists who worship the vault monster's carcass are hell-bent on breaking up the betrothed partners. You will have to fight back the forces of unworldly evil if Wainwright and Hammerlock are to have their happily ever after. Luckily, the most badass wedding planner in the galaxy has your back. Gage, a fugitive vault hunter and returning fan favourite character who's inseparable from her robot BFF Death Trap. So it's absolutely amazing that we will see Gage back people. I know she was a fan favourite to many, many people. So yes, I can confirm she will be back. But people, that's not all. Reunite with old friends and team up with some eerie new characters to help true love triumph over Edrich Horror. Confront bloodthirsty enemies and formidable bosses including alien beasts, hideously mutated oculists and a clan of cold-blooded bandits. All the enemies you can see within the background now. Delve into the disturbingly and occasionally daft backstories of cursed townfolk in a host of spine-tingling side missions. Arm your vault hunter with some of the deadliest gear in the galaxy, including a trove of additional legendaries and some supremely powerful class mods. Flaunt your sense of style with a slew of new cosmetic items, from Vault Hunter heads and skins to interactive room decorations and all new vehicle skins. So yeah people, how amazing does this DLC sound? And the guns, love and tentacles will be available on March 26th which is a part of the season pass for Borderlands 3. I personally cannot wait for this people, it's going to be incredible. Again, March 26th, mark your calendars, book those days off work, because you know what we are doing. So yeah, that's all we know so far on the new DLC, which comes out next month. But obviously, if any more news drops surrounding this, I will have you covered right here on my channel. Now, lastly, before we end, people, Borderlands 3 is going to Steam. Here are the details we know. On March 13th, Borderlands 3 will launch on Steam with PC crossplay between Steam and the Epic Games launcher, thanks to some new shift matchmaking functionality. You'll be able to add friends from your friends list, join co-op parties and play together online regardless of which PC platform each player is using. Gearbox plans to roll out additional PC crossplay features, such as the ability to mail weapons across platforms. This will happen in the weeks that follow the game's launch on Steam. So for those PC players out there watching this, this info is for you obviously. But that is that guys for another Borderlands 3 news video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.